Today on this channel, we are going to be performing some magic. What is? Welcome to the Magician's family. <laughs> Come on guys, I'm kidding. I really don't know anything about magic, but hey, this is movie magic. And certainly I know so much about movie magic. Talking about magic recently, I did some magic on my Panasonic camera. I actually managed to hack this camera to perform very well in terms of its autofocusing. Now, for those of you out there who use Panasonic cameras, you do know that Panasonic actually suck when it comes to autofocus. Even as at the time of making this video, even the latest Panasonic camera, which is the Panasonic GH6, hasn't even moved away from the traditional contrast-based autofocusing system that Panasonic uses in their cameras. Although Canon, Sony and all those other companies are way ahead in terms of autofocus because their face detection systems are just so much on point, we Panasonic users, unfortunately, um, yes, it has been improved, but we are still not enjoying so much of it like the way the Canon and Sony users are enjoying. But just like the little magic I performed in the beginning of this video, we are going to find a work around this and see how you can manage to at least get some decent autofocus out of your Panasonic camera. The camera I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the Panasonic G7 because that is the camera I do use for all my productions, even including what is currently recording me now is actually a Panasonic G7. And I'm going to be doing some magic as always. <laughs> Guys, I'm on top of it right now. I'm a serious magician. Let's get right into the video. So this workaround that I've kind of developed for this Panasonic system is just by shooting in a higher frame rate and also make sure that you are dialing your shutter speed way above your traditional shutter angle rule. Now what do I mean by this? You are traditionally told to crank your shutter speed twice the amount of frame rates at which you are currently recording at. But for this to actually work, you kind of have to break that particular rule. So I know, I know, for those of you who are cinematic gurus out there, you kind of go like, we are going to lose the motion blend, lose all those other stuff. Come on, I get it. There is a price you have to pay for everything. And to get this to work, you need to pay that price of not having that natural motion in your picture. And so what I tend to do is at least don't overdo it, just add at least one step. And the footage you are currently seeing on your screen right now comes from a recent music video that I shot using my Panasonic G7. And all I did was that I was actually filming the whole thing at 60 frames per second and kept the shutter speed above 160 because 160 is traditionally going to be the mark at which you are supposed to shoot if you're shooting at 60 frames per second. But I did break the rule by taking it slightly above the 120 degree shutter rule mark. And boom, I have my Panasonic camera with autofocus working full time. And as you can see from the shots, I actually had this camera on a gimbal throughout the whole time because you and I know that once you have a camera on a gimbal, it's very hard to reach out to the focusing or to keep focusing the camera. So this kind of trick actually saved me a lot when it came to this particular kind of shoot. I think I should show you exactly what I did on the camera menu, but we don't have a G7 camera, but wait, I'm a magician. I mean, why don't we just kind of, as usual, just conjure a G7 camera? Are you ready? Yes. Let's try this. Let me, let me summon the gods. Oh. 
that is another Panasonic G7 we have right here, apart from the one that is recording us right there. I think I like this magic. I mean, or should we convert this channel into a magic channel? So I teach you how to do all the magic. <laughs> Come on, guys, just kidding. So with my G7, what I tend to do is that I just go to the menu. I don't know if you can see this and I just go forth and this is 60 FPS. So I do select 60 FPS and go back to the camera. And what I quickly do is that I just crank up the shutter speed above the 120 mark. And as you can see, this is 250 and let me take it down a little. And this is like 160. So 160 is kind of like the sweet mark for me. And of course, it also depends on the lightning. So with this straight off, as the camera is already kind of ready because one, the frame rate has already been set to a higher frame rate, which is 60 FPS. And also the shutter speed has actually been set above the traditionally recommended shutter speed point. And now the last thing I do is that I just come here, uh, this button right here and voila, I change it to autofocus. And from this point onwards, <laughs> your Panasonic G7 will become an autofocusing beast. Now, from all the excitement and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, the battery is kind of blinking. <laughs> or do you think we should do some magic and get it full just so that the battery will just charge? Come on. So guys, beyond all the excitement, um, what are the downsides of doing this? Of course, like already said in the beginning of the video, the shutter speed is actually not going to be right or you're not going to actually have that raw motion blur that most of you are used to in terms of uh, following the rules of traditional cinema. But like I said, and I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about paying a price. Everything we go through this world, you kind of pay a price for it. And to get the best autofocus out of your Panasonic camera, um, what I do realize is that you have to kind of learn to let go of some of these things just to make sure that your camera is kind of ready and good for things like this. Before we sign out, I think we are done with the major part of the video. So I think we can take this camera away, right? And that is it guys i do hope you do enjoy this video and if you're new here oh my god we do talk about cinematography photography editing and all its related branches if this sounds interesting <laughs> guys i do much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button make sure to turn on notification icon so that you get notified anytime i drop awesome content like this make sure to subscribe or else i'll come at you with my magic I, are you subscribing or should I unleash the magic? <laughs> Come on guys, I'm kidding, but you kind of get the point. And please, if you did get a ton of information out of this video, please make sure to click on the like button because it goes a long way in helping other people discover this channel right here on YouTube platform. Please step out, try out this if you have a Panasonic camera and do let me know in the comment section below how your test went, whether it was good, whether it was bad. Let me know your experience with this in the comment section below. I am OBL Junior. If you do have any further questions, you can link me up on Instagram at OBL underscore Junior and I will gladly respond to every single one of your messages. Until next time, as always, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. And oh, please, before you leave, just remember, I am not a magician, right? This is just... <laughs>